Okay, so we're um, back for part three now. Just sort out my camera full. So anyway, something like that. Okay, so we're going to leave continue with uh, Beatles Live at the Star Club Hamburg, Germany, 1962. This is a 1977 release, which came out in. Um, this is a German pressing. These are from early um, December 1962 shows that the Beatles did in Hamburg. So sort of Ring, one of their early shows with Ringo on it. Uh, quality's not that great, it's taken from a, a fan's recording on a reel to reel recorder. Um, let's see what tape Yep, he used a, the person who recorded this used a reel to reel tape recorder. And there's songs. But it's quite interesting to hear some covers, as well as some ones the Beatles later recorded for the BBC. And there's some songs that the Beatles had record, later, would later record for EMI. Um, some interesting stuff like Twist and Shout before they recorded that for Please Please Me. Um, as well as Ask Me Why and I Saw Her Standing There, which were their own songs that they later recorded for Please Please Me. Uh, so, yeah, some interesting stuff. Nice photos as well. Yeah. The liner notes are both in English and German, because there are different variants of like covers, tracks. Um, and we're on a German label called Belfon. Which is quite an interesting label. Plum. It's very plum purple colour. It's more of a bright purple, but on camera it's coming out as a dark purple for some reason. It probably won't be like that when, when this video goes out. It probably won't look like that when this video goes out, but when the camera's recording it, it, it comes out as different colours for some reason. 1977, and the second LP is the same. Next we have Beatles Live at the Hollywood Bowl, great cover, it's a really good live album, even though the Beatles couldn't hear themselves live. This is um, taken from two different shows in August 1964 and August 1965 at the Hollywood Bowl in California during the Beatles 64 and 65 tour. They've got tickets in the front, which is cool. And liner notes, this was compiled by the producer George Martin. Gatefold, which is cool. In sleeve with the Beatles collection. Whoop. This is quite busted, it's one of my early ones. It's quite scratchy as well, it does jump a bit. What's that? So yeah, it's a good live album. And we have a German Preston of Live at the Hollywood Bowl on the Odeon label. We have the MFP reissue live at the Hollywood Bowl from 1984. There's another variant with where the tickets are red and pink, which I might like to get someday. It's not a gatefold version, and we're on MFP. Quite a nice label. A lot of these good label designs. We have uh, the Beatles Love Songs, which is a 1977 compilation. There's a lot of great you know, songs that love feeling to the Beatles songs. It's good to hear for it's good for Valentine's Day, pretty much. If you're in the house and you want to hear these songs, you know. Gatefold. Songs again, and we're on the silver parlophone label still. Sick now, please identical. The records are actually actually a bit dusty, but quite in good condition, despite the sleeve being quite battered. This is quite hard to find in good condition. This, the cover, the cover's battered in this one. Not much long to go now. Beatles Rarities, which is a selection of A-sides and B-side singles, as well as some EP tracks. Again, this is from the Beatles box, Blue Box collection. 
said this because it's got the sample not for sale, but it was later put out on its own as a separate album, or with liner notes in the back. And we're on the Silk Coffin EMI. Two box EMI. Some tracks are mono, some stereo. Now this next one I got in a job lot along with the bath with the st st stereo signs and pepper mono Beatles for sale, Beatles second album and the please please me. This is rarities. This is the American version, but it's a French copy from 1980. Again, not in great condition. It's quite water damaged and sort of um, mouldy as well. But yeah, these are the difference between this rarities and the UK rarities. These are songs that the Beatles didn't release in America and some versions that the Beatles didn't release in America some kind of sort of, kind of alternate mixes of songs pretty much it's got the butcher cover photo over there and it's better be careful with this one it's on the silver polyphone label the record's actually not bad condition though Actually, some s yes. yeah, there's some songs that Beatles didn't release, but on Capital, like Misery and There's a Place, but it explains the history of these songs of why of like not and as well as Don't Pass Me By and um, Helter Skelter in Mono, which is quite interesting, because the White Album never came out in Mono in America; it only came out in Mono in Britain, I think. You have one called the Beatles Ballads, 20 original tracks. Quite an interesting one. This is a 1980 one. So songs. So it's a different mix of different tracks from uh, 63 to 70 really. So pretty much a lot of the riff. It came in a plain white in a sleeve originally, but it's, 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 it's busted. So I kind of gave it a nice black one. This is quite interesting. It's got a nice cover as well. Pretty interesting cover. We have the Beatles broadcasts from 1980, a bootleg from 1980, which is BBC Sessions. Many of these BBC sessions were bootlegged throughout the 70s and 80s. They've since been officially released. So this is kind of an early bootleg, which is cool to have for a nice cover. And it's on um, BBC Transcription Service, which is quite an interesting label. This is one I got online. Quite a few of these I've got online. We have Rock and Roll Music Volume 1, which is from 1980. Um, which is pretty much record one of Rock and Roll Music, reissued in 1980. It's quite a cool cover. You know? This came in a plain white in a sleeve, which is busted as well. So I just gave it a... Quite a lot of these in a sleeve were replaced in case they're busted or never come well. I gave it a nice black one. MFP. Bit bent in the sleeve. But it's trying to get him back in. It's been a long video, but my Beatles collection is still growing. But, uh, when I get the full with the collection done, I'll update it to now upload it. Another one. Here's Rock and Roll Music Volume 2. This is 1980 again, Record 2 of Rock and Roll Music. It's got a sticker on it. It shouldn't be on it for some reason. Cross John's face. The Beatles 20 Greatest Hits. It's a pretty good one. 1982. It's pretty much 20 singles and 20 songs in here. On one record, they managed to fit in one record, which is pretty interesting. In a sleeve. 
and polyphone. And we have the Silver Beatles picture disc, which I think is the Decca, 62 Decca auditions, because of the songs there. They used the White Album photos for some reason. Put a bit of cardboard in to protect it. Then we have the 2013 reissue of Live at the BBC which originally came out in 1994 as a double album that was released in 2013 as a free record set a free very heavy record set on 180 gram vinyl really interesting sessions from 63 to 65 that the Beatles did really interesting you know to hear the Beatles joking around with the presenters of the program as well as them playing music and I'll show you the free and scenes here's a nice photo program details the producer and about the recording and the songs because the some record songs the Beatles never recorded for their albums and when they did the BBC sessions. The other three are the same. But I will show you the other in a sleeves. That's a nice photo. So yeah, the person who owned this before must have protected these records quite well because he took them out of the original inner sleeves and put them in nice polyline sleeves, which is nice. That's a good photo of the band there. And the information about the tracks and the recordings. Lots of photos from the sessions. The quality in this one's quite good, even though some of the recordings do vary in terms of the sources, because they use different sources to try and this, do this collection, like off-air copies and some transcription discs, which the, some BBC programs, some of the Beatles appearances have been sold, have been were, were broadcast overseas as well for a different station. So they use a lot of sources to make this great collection. We have 2013's On Air Live at the BBC Volume 2. The original Live at the BBC was 1994, this was 2013. This is a three record set. And really good songs. And the third vinyl, you get an interview with each of the four Beatles, so John and George on side five and Paul and Ringo on side two. On side six, sorry. And the record's the same as the label, so I'll show you the inner sleeves. They're like nice photos. There's also a lot of information about the tracks and the programs they were broadcast for. That's a nice one. It's a nice photo. I talk about the interviews with John. George, Paul and Ringo, which are really interesting. The Beatles interviews are really interesting, particularly in the early days when there were being press conference. John, if somebody asked John a question and sometimes it would often come out with funny answers. That's the thing with interviews, particularly John. John was very funny when he, with his interviews. Sometimes he was often sarcastic, but that's the thing about John. John was funny with interviews. We have uh, Work in Progress Outtakes, 1963. This is 2014, this came out. Um, quite a nice cover. These are outtakes from like Please Please Me sessions with the Beatles sessions as well as the From Me To You single. There's quite a lot of good books about the Beatles, you know, particularly this one about the recording processes. And there's the, you know, see if there's a red glitter vinyl, which is quite nice. And the second LP is on a blue and glitter vinyl, which is nice. Yeah. 
Here's the Blackpool Rocks, the complete broadcast, 964 and 65, which is uh, some television appearances the Beatles did for Blackpool, Blackpool in Blackpool and the Blackpool Night Out television show from 64 and 65. They did some television appearances and these are the songs they did. Very interesting on white vinyl, which is nice. The quality of these recordings are quite good. Television appearances, which is cool to have on a record. That came out in 2016. These three. Okay, I have a pick now, pick this called the Decca Tapes, which is Deck Audition. Which is a nice photo of the um, George, Pete, John, and Paul. And it's turned over on the other side, mirrorized. So I'm going to put disc. So quite interesting. And last, finally, we've made it. It's the Beatles box from Liverpool. 1980 Beatles box. So, uh, if you want to see a video on this, I will do a video on it. I'm going to show you what you get in here. Got a lot of songs from the Beatles' career, like an anthology, pretty much. They have nice photos, photos as well as nice covers. And they're on the silver part phone label. So that is the Beatles vinyl collection done with. I will uh, hopefully update it when the collection is complete. And so, and I'll hopefully do some box sets videos. If you want to see a video on the Beatles box, I will do it. And I might do a video on the John Lennon Anthology 4 CD box because I've been thinking of doing a video on that. So do stay tuned for more coming and I'll speak to you soon.